Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. I am so excited today because today we're going to introduce a brand new product to the Fruity range. This is the new Optimum 400 juicer. I'm going to start by learning how to put it together in two different ways. So these are all the pieces that you get in the box. You'll get the base that you see right here, the hopper piece which sits on top, the squeezing screw, the spinning basket, the bowl, you get two different strainers. This is a fine mesh strainer and this is a blank plate strainer and you can watch the other videos on this YouTube channel. Don't forget to like it to find out how to use this one to make ice cream and baby food and a few other delicious things. Um, this is our tamper and then you have here a tofu box. So yes, you can use the Optimum 400 juicer to create tofu and then we've got our beautiful little tap on the side there and the cleaning brush and pointing end. So we've got all the pieces to pop this together. There are two separate ways. The first way to put together your Optimum Blender is to start with the bowl in your hand and place the bowl straight onto the top of the base. So to sit that in nice and firm and securely. Second, you want to put the spinning basket straight inside and make sure it's firmly in the bottom. So giving a little wiggle in there. The third thing that you want to do is take the fine mesh screen and have a little look on top. There is a red dot on the top there and on the bowl there's a little black dot. So you want to line the black dot and the red dot up pushing the basket straight, uh, the uh, strainer straight into the spinning basket. Lastly, you want to pop the screw straight in and securely ensure that everything is firmly in place. And then on top we take the hopper. You'll see that there is a little dot on the top there as well. You line that up uh, on the top of the black dot on the bowl and turn until everything is locked in place. So that's the first way that you can put together the Optimum 400 juicer ready for use. I'll pull it apart and we'll do it the second way. The second way to pop together your Optimum uh, 400 juicer is to start with the bowl and just check underneath that the little rubber tab is pushed quite lightly but into the side there so that that functions correctly. Then you'll take your spinning basket and sit it into the bowl. Make sure it's securely in place. Second, the fine mesh or the blank plate depending on what you're doing. Lining the red dot with the black dot on the side of the unit and making sure that it's firmly in place in your hand. Lastly, the squeezing screw locks in on top once that locks in firmly, you can put the hopper unit on the very top section and pop the whole top in place, pressing it down firmly and securely so you're ready to juice. So they're the two ways that you can put together your Optimum 400 juicer. It only takes a few moments and then you're ready to rock and roll. We'll put aside these extra pieces that we're not going to use for this particular recipe and we'll start by placing the two containers underneath. One container goes under the rectangular shape outlet and that outlet is for waste. The other container is a, uh, fits underneath the round outlet and that's where your juice will come out of the juicer. These have got a nice curved back so they'll fit beautifully in against the juicer making sure that there's no drips everywhere and then the tamper fits in on top. The cleaning brush we'll use in just a moment. Now to make a juice and we'll start with a simple tomato juice but you can check back in on this through the TV channel on YouTube for other recipes is to chop the tomato or your ingredients into a size that fits into the feed tube. Once we've done that, all we do is pop over to the side here. Now you'll see on the side when you have a look at your own Optimum Juicer that there are two settings and we'll just give you a little bit of an example of those. You'll see the first setting is our on switch and then you can go also down in a reverse switch. That's only used if the juicer happens to get clogged and that will unclog the juicer. So we're going to turn it on and then feed gently, not too quickly, into the Optimum 400 juicer. So the waste comes out the waste outlet, the juice comes out the juice outlet and you just keep juicing until you've got a full cup. 
So while we continue to juice this tomato, a few quick points. It's okay if your fruit has a, or vegetables have a little bit of blemish on the outside as long as the whole fruit is all right. You'll notice that there's a beautiful quiet uh, sound, it's not noisy at all and the Optum 400 juicer is the slowest slow juicer on the market ensuring that all of your nutrients, minerals, vitamins and enzymes are kept intact so you get a nutritious drink in just a short period of time. So it doesn't take long to make yourself a nice tomato juice or any other fruit or vegetable juice and we'll make lots of videos here on the Fruity TV channel for you. But We just wanted to show you how to put the juicer together, the two options, how to make a quick and easy juice and now we'll quickly make you make sure that you can clean the juicer easily also. Remember this is a nice plain tomato juice but you can spice this one up with a dash of Tabasco or you know a shot of something else. So, to clean the juicer, it's very simple. Take the top off the base and bring it over to the sink. You can remove the hopper and then just rinse it under cold or warm water, getting rid of any debris or any excess around any of the openings. Pop that onto the draining board and you can dry it up in a moment. For the assembly in the centre, pull apart the screw, the squeezing screw, rinse off any of the excess ingredients you can use the end, which is a nice pointed end, to get into any grooves and get any excess out that may be caught. Leaving that again on the strainer. So it's a very quick and easy process to clean the Optimum 400 juicer. Rinse out the bowl here, open out the little tab in the bottom, and use the end of the stick if needed. Place it on the strainer. Lastly, you just want to clean the fine mesh with the toothbrush or the cleaning brush that comes with your Optimum 400 juicer. Simply hold the juicer in your hand and gently brush and turn all the way around, getting rid of any debris that's left in the holes. Do this on the small end and on the wider end towards the top. This is a very important part of cleaning your juicer. Don't leave any debris to get built up or caught into the holes, otherwise the juicer can get clogged. Lastly, using the brush, brush out any last debris inside the juicer bowl. And there you are. So. There we have it, the Optimum 400 juicer. We've showed you two different ways to pop it together. We've showed you how to make a quick and easy juice, reminding you that it's the slowest slow juicer on the market. And we've had a look at how to clean it. If you'd like to save water while cleaning, instead of using the running water, fill your sink with a little bit of cool water, use the brush to clean everything, and then rinse once quickly before draining the water from the sink. A few quick no-nos when it comes to the Optimum 400 juicer, and one is to place anything into the outlet for waste while the machine is running, and also do not use anything but the tamper to push the ingredients down into the screw while the Optimum 400 juicer is running. Last thing is not to put any of the plastic parts into your dishwasher. Always use the sink to clean them. So where do you get the Optimum 400 juicer? Go down below into the description and you can find the link to the Fruity website closest to you. Fruity.com.au, fruity.co.nz, fruity.co.uk and uh, more coming mm -hmm. soon. So Optimum 400 juicer, I think I'm excited to go and create some new videos on how to use it. Remember you can do more with this than just juice. Ciao for now.